Hey guys, today we're going to make some, uh, well, I'm going to make some ribs later, but I've already made tons of rib videos, um, you can check that one out. Uh, I think that one was done on the, uh, the offset, Char Griller, Smoke a Champ. Uh, but, so this video is just going to be fire management on a Kamado grill. Today I'm using the Char Griller Acorn. This thing is great. Um, and when you're doing slow and low, you don't want to come out with a big chimney full of stuff and go whoosh and just drop in a bunch of hot coals. It's going to be really tough getting it under 300 once you do that. So what you want to do is create, you know, if you have any old coals in here, you know, clean out the pan, the pan underneath and put some coal, you know, move the coals around a bit. Put in some freshies. Because they're getting kind of small at the end of this bag here. But you want to make sure you have a nice, nice clean path down so air can come up, up through. All right. There we go. That's good. I always keep a piece of rebar around. It's my uh, poking stick. Once you do that, take something like one of these. And light at least one or two of those. So I'm just going to let that sit like this for a bit. Give it about 5-10 minutes or so. Make sure it's caught. has lots of nice air coming through. And we'll check up on it. Alright, let's check on it. It's been um, about 7 minutes or so. And I can feel the heat coming off of there. Quit it, duck. I'm trying to talk. So now I'm going to do is shut it. Make sure all the vents are open. And let that start to start to flow through. So we're not going to see anything here for at least another 10, 15 minutes. And then we'll start to see it creep up. Today I'm just going off of this gauge. I'm going to try to keep this around 225 throughout my cook. Um, now this this acorn does awesome once you get it set. You know, once you have the um, the vents right where you want them, and you have it dialed in, this thing did uh, an overnight. Went to sleep, you know, on lump charcoal, the same royal oak, um, with a uh, pork butt. Overnight, stayed between 225 and 250 all night. It was awesome. So once you learn how to how to manage the uh, the fire in here? Um, you just set it, and it should stay pretty well. Once it hits a wood chunk, it might it might flare up a little bit. Um, but yeah, so as long as you have the time, it's the best way to get a Kamado started for a uh, for a slow cook. So I'll give this about ten minutes or so, and we'll check on it. All right, it's been about 10 minutes, and as you can see, we're starting to climb a little bit. According to the, uh, the gauge here, we're about 150. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to close this halfway and close this halfway. And then give it another uh, five, 10 minutes. All right, now it's been uh, about five minutes, and we're just over 200. Now I'm going to shut things down even more. Barely open. It's about a one over here, so maybe eighth of an inch, quarter inch up top. And I can just barely see the opening down here. So 
So hopefully this should, you know, just kind of take a picture of this temp and just leave it now. Should slow way down now. All right, folks, it's been about 15 minutes. And we're just sitting. We just camped out right about 240, 250. And I'm happy with that. So, going to get going here. We got these baby backs, complete with little Uncle Steve's pig powder. And I'll start to get this ready. Let me show you inside there what we're looking at. This will be a little rough ride. Put your seatbelt on. So we still got that little guy going at the bottom. Now you don't want to keep this open for too long because the more air, more oxygen you're getting in there, the, uh, the hotter it's going to get. So I put my deflector in. Grates. And I gotta get some tongs or gloves or something for the uh, for the rib. But do that in a second. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I know it was a super quick video. Um, and if you think about it, this took maybe it took maybe twenty minutes to a half hour to get uh, settled into the temp we wanted. Um, but if you're using a chimney or something anyway, it's usually 15, 20 minutes to let that go. So this really doesn't take that much longer. And you're starting out with a nice, small, small, small fire. Um, and you got enough, you know, enough coals around it, it could go all night if it wanted to. Um, especially these Kamados, uh, they just hold the heat so well. Uh, you know, just keep an eye on it. Once it gets to about 100, 150, so, you know, start to shut things down, keep an eye on it, especially then, and just kind of dial it right in so it just creeps right up to the to the temp you want. And that's all you got to do. Just keep your vents how they are. Once you open it to check on the meat and close it, you're going to notice the temp's going to drop. Don't open the vents or anything. It'll it'll settle back. It'll settle back where you had it most times. Um, if it doesn't, then yeah, play with the vents. But let me get these on. Uh, the bees are coming around. So. Uh, yeah, and go check out this pork bite video. Um, this guy right here kept the temp all night at uh, about 225, so 225, 250. So check that out, and uh, we'll see you next time. Make me some ribs.